standard uh, format, which is you get the idea, you work it all out, you go to treatment, and then you set up an EIS, SEIS, EIS scheme. So SEIS, which I'll call SEED, because the other thing is hard to just pronounce, uh, the first 150 grand comes from SEED, and the rest is EIS. SEED offers the investor 60% tax credit, the other 30% tax credit. So you go with a, an independent financial advisor, he sets up the scheme, you draw up a 64-page information memorandum, and then you present it to rich people. Uh, the first rich person was a friend of mine uh, who saw it, grabbed it, and gave us £150,000, which is terrific. Then we held uh, a reception at Langens to which high net worths from around our networks were invited, and as I say, one of them stuck his hand up and said, I'll have the lot which was great and as it turned out not so great so you do it that way and there's a thing called EIS season which we're currently in the middle of you have to hit the end of the financial year to get your tax credit so it's this time of year that really does the job for you but it's if you don't do it properly it's money is a huge worry all the way through yeah there's a lot of that it happens all the time it's, it's a bit like I've never done it but tightrope walking you, know, you shouldn't look down and there was a time, we got the money in now by begging and borrowing and scraping, but there was a time about two weeks ago I thought, God, this is going to, you know, we're not going to deliver on time, E1, I'm going to say thanks but no thanks. And the people, you know, basically friends or friends of friends are going to have done their dough, which was a horrible position to be in. So at least we've got past that. And uh, then I, you know, next I have to pay back the loans I've got. And then what would be nice if the film is a success and you know, we've got some money coming back. But that almost disappears into the horizon. It's just a constant process of... I don't know anybody that's had it easy, to be honest. There are different ways to it, but no one's really done it. I would hope that it'll be easier next time round. Well, you, you say you are at the start, but you don't know until the end how much you actually are putting into it. For a start, you're not getting paid. Uh, for most of it. We formed a company and as investment came in, we could pay ourselves, not a vast amount, but just enough to keep the bills at bay. Um, yeah, you just have to throw an awful lot into it. And as I did about two, three weeks ago, I had to put my money into it, which is the last thing you want to do. But you'll find that other investors um, put, one of the reasons they invest, or one of the conditions they put up for investing is that you've got what they call skin in the game. So unless you put money in, why should they? It's been worth it all the way along. It's been incredibly stressful, and it's mainly that you know that I, I'm not <coughs> I'm not guided by money, but money is important. I, that having to deal with that has been rotten, but actually creating it has been terrific. And now it's finished; they can't take it away from me. Um, and I've watched it about 17 times a week, uh, but now it's completely finished. I can't watch it without crying. Uh, it's not just because it's an emotional film, it's because it means so much. And the last image you see is of my dad, and without my dad, it would never happen, so you get all tearful. So yeah, is the answer. It'd be even more worth it if I can pay myself back. I